guys, it's Robin here. How are you all? I have a long-awaited Dollar Tree haul. So, we're going to jump in because it's a couple of days uh, in the making. And, um, yeah, I've got to get this stuff put up because i got a lot of stuff going on. And I have a bag of stuff down here, so you're going to hear me rattle through this bag a little bit. And I do apologize. I just don't have enough room on my table to put everything up at first. So I'm gonna do the bag first and then we'll get off what's on the table and it's just a combination in no particular order of a whole bunch of stuff that I've just randomly picked up. So I'm gonna try to keep the food things together. This is Campania Camp Ania, I don't know. Pure soybean oil and extra virgin olive oil, 0% trans fat cholesterol free and it's 8.5 ounce now there is very little only six percent of extra virgin olive oil in here and it says <coughs> excuse me so much um distributed by club international out of rancho cucamonga california do you guys not love that name rancho cucamonga I've always loved the name of that city. Anyway, so I picked up a couple of those. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me grab a drink. I apologize. Ever since Molly's birthday party, we had it outside, but we were under some shade trees in Rusty's yard. And I think I must have gotten sinusy from whatever those trees were because they have not agreed with me and I've been difficult with my sinuses ever since then. <clears throat> so I picked up a can of Libby's Premium Mandarin Oranges. I love those and so does Molly. I picked up a can of Libby's Chunk Pineapples. I love this stuff. My dad used to eat this for snacks when it's an all-natural fruit pack, fresh in pineapple juice. And my dad would eat this kind of stuff for snacks. He was diabetic. Of course, this one probably is not really good for you because, let's see. Does it say how much sugar is in here? Well, it doesn't say. But he would eat, you know, stuff like this for snacks rather than cakes and cookies and stuff and so I've always grown up and I just really like a lot of fruit and stuff and so <clears throat> it's nothing for me to do that um now I found these and I bought two jars of them this is grilled artichoke hearts by Caramia California style aside from being fun to eat beautiful to look at and crazy delicious artichokes are also nutrients only the highest quality artichoke hearts are grilled and dressed in a delicious oil and herbs. And I picked this up because I'm going to try to, I've never used the grilled ones, but I'm going to make some artich, artichoke and spinach dip using this. And artichoke, jars of artichoke hearts are crazy expensive. I don't know if you buy them on the regular or not, but they're crazy, crazy expensive. And this does not expire until October 28th of this year. So, I picked up two jars of those. And then I also picked up two containers of this Progresso cook, cooking stock chicken. This is 32 ounces. This stuff is crazy expensive at the store too. And so, to find it at the Dollar Tree, Progresso. Yeah, I picked up two of those. I use a lot of chicken stock if I don't make my own. And then I got this Supreme Tradition Steakhouse Seasoning. That's a big old bottle for a dollar. And it has salt, spices including black and red pepper, garlic, onion, natural flavor, and extras of extractions of paprika for color. Sorry. So, yeah. Sounded good. So I picked that up. And... I'm hoping that's about all of the food, other than I got some little Reese's miniature cups stuffed with Reese's pieces. And their serving size is one package. 
It's got one, two, three, four, five, I think six in here is what it feels like of the little minis. So, yeah, I didn't think that was bad for a dollar. I'll set that over there. And then the last thing I got, and I picked this up for Ryan. I've never seen it before. Candy Sushi Surprise Maker. Kit includes everything needed for a mini kitchen maggot. Magic. Contains one candy rice packet, one gummy fish packet, one eggs bubble packet, one eggs bath packet, one drink packet, one spoon, one measuring scoop, one dropper, one plate, one cup, one instruction sheet, and one kitchen magic tray. And you make these little gummy candy sushi. And then you have a little dipping sauce or a drink right here. And I just thought Ryan could do this with Molly and it would be fun. So I got that. Then I found these magnetic frame with a mini chalkboard. And I thought these, they're magnetic back here. I thought these would be good for the girls to take for their lockers. So I got that one that looks like a speech bubble. Well, they all. So this one is a rectangular speech bubble. This is a round speech bubble. And this is a flowery cloud speech bubble. So I thought the girls could use those, well, even Trenton, on their lockers at school. So I got that. I'm trying to get everything out of this bag so I don't have to keep reaching down, guys. Okay. I showed in my Target haul the school bus. Okay, so I also picked up the construction, and I just thought these would be cute in my planner or um, anything like that. Or when the boys come, they could do a craft with these. So I picked up these. Then I also got the maple leaves with fall coming. This would look cute on my packages as an address label. Then I found these poster letter stickers. There's nine sheets, 91 total decorative letters and numbers, and they're orange with little white polka dots, and I had not saw those before. So I grabbed up those. Then I found this nail set, and I picked up two boxes, same nail. And I love the yellow and the mint green. Then I got, I only have one each here for you guys because I've already put the others away. But I got the mesh to make a Halloween wreath. And I got the orange and the black. And I got the black with the orange spider webs just to kind of mix in a little bit. And I got, I uh, think, Five rolls of each of these and two rolls of this. So I had a dozen. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Because once Dollar Tree runs out of that, it is impossible crazy to find. So I also picked up for crafting purposes two deals of this def decorative nautical rope, 13 feet each. So I picked up two of those. I'm not for sure what I will use them for, but um, I'm sure I can find something to use them for. Oh, for my Reese. It's way down here on the bottom. Oh, let's see if I can pour it out. Oh, it's not wanting to come. For my Halloween wreath, I also picked up the pipe cleaners. I got two packs of black and two packs of orange tinsel stems but I picked up there are 45 in each and I usually cut them in half or thirds so I picked up both of those two of each those are books I'll share in just a minute something has made my hand itch so I've got all of this just piled up here and I'm just going to randomly start going through it repurchase of these fresh and clean laundry detergent packs and faint Stain Fighting Power. Ten comes in a pack for a dollar. And it is H-E friendly. I love these things. You can put one in there or two for large and heavily soiled laundries. And yeah, never had a problem with them not dissolving, cleaning, anything. Love these. Repurchase, repurchase, repurchase. Then I just saw this and had to have it. And it says, Welcome to our patch. 
has the sunflower, has the maple leaf, has the pumpkin. This is glittery. It's on a stake, and you guys know I live in an apartment. But I saw that and I thought, you know, someday I will have a house and I really, really want this. It's cute. What if the Dollar Tree doesn't have it then? And so I went ahead and picked it up. Then I was visiting with my friend Teresa. You guys know her, Teresa Branham. She has her own channel. Be sure you check her out. And I told her I have this big flower pot outside on the patio. It is big and it's empty. There's nothing in it. I told her I think I'm going to go get some soil and then some like river rock. To cover it up and then I'm gonna start like I can put this in it and then when Christmas comes I can put one and then when it's summertime I can put my flags thing in it and just put it out there on the balcony and help decorate out there and get some use out of these these are so cute and so worth a dollar and I've never bought any before but I've always wanted to and then I just decided I'm buying it because they might not have it later so I bought that these are six foot each of the diamond wrapped ribbon, and I got the clear diamond, or and then I got this one that is the um, six foot roll, and it is the orange with the pumpkins on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for, but I don't want them to run out and me not have it, so I went ahead and purchased some. I also found the Hello Kitty in the little um repositionable stickers you just get this one sheet and then this is just a hello kitty thing you can color which i'm going to make a dashboard out of this for my planner and i'm going to use these in my planner spread and i have some um washi some hello kitty washi so i actually got this for a planner spread and i am a part of the plan with me design group so those uh, videos come out on Sundays, Monday at the latest. So you guys check that out. Um, I may try to do this spread in September. So be sure and check it out. Like I said, I'm going to use these in a spread. I have some Hello Kitty washi, and I'm going to make a dashboard out of this. So yeah, please come back and check that out. Okay, the pineapple wall creations that everybody hauled not very long ago. You get four pineapples on a deal. I live in an apartment. You cannot wallpaper, paint, change the color, anything like that. And I got to thinking these would be cute. See how they have them lined up here as a border. And the day I decided I wanted to use these to go like, um, the word just goes out of my mind, but you know, midway up the wall and they put the two colors or whatever. And a lot of times they put the wallpaper or the trim around. I'm going to use these about halfway up the wall, like maybe behind our recliners or something like that. And the day I decided I wanted to do that, I couldn't find them anywhere. So today I found them. So I went ahead and bought up six. And there's four on each. And then I have a couple of others I had picked up before. So now I have enough to like make a border along my wall with those. And they just come right off doesn't destroy anything and I'm good to go as far as my apartment so where do I go to next uh, let's try to stay in the crafty area I picked up some floral today so I picked up six different ones so I got these like kind of like wheat the right here this little thing with the different colored leaves so I picked up that one and I picked up this one with these little things that kind of look like, you now it looks like it's missing a couple. But I picked up this. And then I got these floral ones. I just thought they were pretty. They look kind of almost like buttercups. But I got yellow and purple, cream, and red. So I want to make a fall floral bouquet with those. And I'll have to look and see kind of what I want to do with them because I've done the floral bouquet with the popcorn as the filler. And so I need something different. So I may pop on Pinterest and see what I can find. So I picked up this raffia in the kind of red, brown, and orangey colors. And just three bundles of this. 
for crafting purposes. I have one somewhere. have no idea where it is, so I cannot find it. So I just picked up some more. Then I picked up both sets of these decorative pumpkins. They're all stuck together. Oh, no. What will we do? We will have to undo them so we can hold them up. This one says... Fall in love. And I just saw, and I wish I could think of her name, a lady tonight on YouTube. And she chalk painted these and then she painted them with the black chalk and then with the white chalk. And then she put some little decorative um, things there that said home sweet home. And made it more like a farmhouse friendly DIY. And it wasn't... Um, it didn't look Halloween-y or fallish. You could leave it up year-round. So I picked up those. This one said Fall in Love. This one actually says Home Sweet Home. And that is so cute for a dollar. So cute. So I picked up both of those. Um, trying to see if there's any other crafty stuff. I picked up all three of these that I... These are the three new ones, I believe. This one has the hearts. This one has the banner. And this one has Be Happy. I have the whole other set that Dollar Tree had come out with before. So I wanted to make sure I got those to add with them. Then I picked up these two rolls of washi. And I'm trying to stay away from purchasing new washi. Because I have my deals exactly how I want them. And I don't have room for any more. And I don't want to start it piling back up. Now, this is actually the same washi, but the rolls look almost different. But this is the only of the new washi that I found. So I picked up two rolls of that. Then, strictly for decorating purposes, I picked up the salt and pepper shakers of the little squirrels. And I just set some decorative... Um, salt and pepper shakers on my stove at all times. The ones I have on there right now are some little birds that a wonderful, wonderful subscriber sent to me. And then uh, Vicki, another subscriber I have, had just sent me some not very long ago of hummingbirds. Oh my God, they're so pretty. So I did not have these, so I went ahead and picked these up. Now, they are usable salt and pepper shakers. There's the three holes here for the salt and the two holes for the pepper. But I just don't bother because I just want them for decorative purchase purposes so I don't fill them. But I got those. Then, um, where to next? Also for decorating, I picked up three different pumpkins. And I'm pretty sure I have this white one, but... It was just so pretty, and I, in case I didn't have it, I wanted to make sure I did. So I picked up this one. I picked up this beautiful green one. Kind of looks like it's been in the dirt too long, and it's kind of rottening. But I picked up that, and this is the only one of the heavy ceramic ones they had. And they didn't have any with the little leaves on them or any. This is like literally the only one that was in there. And I picked it up. So I'm still looking for some more of these. I love these pumpkins. They are to die for gorgeous. Oh, another complete and total repurchase. This is the LA's Totally Awesome Auction Orange Base Cleaner. One scoop every load of laundry I do. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. I also, I picked these up. These are the... Um, in wash scent booster and it is the Centra scent and I am so disappointed this is 4.5 ounces now I don't know how many ounces were in the other one but I can tell you this looks so teeny tiny compared to the other the amount that comes out of this is so teeny tiny you're supposed to use two capfuls and if you do that there are barely 10 capfuls in here so that's only 5 loads I just feel like this is about half to a third of the size of what they were. Now, this is the better. This is the original scent boosters for your laundry that came out. 
these this is wonderful smells good you can use it in your scentsy this is great but I just feel like they really chinched this up when they made this bottle this is I may not purchase a whole lot of this I have I did I purchased 10 of them to start with so that I um, could fill back up my container and get my container back full but I just feel like I don't get my money's worth with this highly disappointed Dollar Tree highly highly disappointed look at there there's the little hole I think this was supposed to have the little leaf in it but it doesn't so yep lost my little leaf don't know where it went okay <clears throat> I picked these up in the school supply section. They're brush pens, and I've never seen them, never used them before. It says brush tip assorted. Comes in the primary colors, red, yellow, green, and blue. And it says ideal for arts and crafts. I wished it was in black. I really needed the yellow for a craft project I have coming up, but I could have used a black one as well. But this is what they had, so I'm gonna try them and see how I like them. Oh, you guys. Excuse me, it's really, really late here. I picked up Miss Molly some hangers. Look at that, pretty, pretty pink. Six children hangers for a dollar. I picked up six packs of them because that child made out like a little bandit at her birthday party as far as clothes go, and her mom and daddy didn't have enough hangers to hang all her clothes. So her mom picked her those up because I want her clothes hung. I picked up a four pack of the double A batteries because that clock has run down and I told my husband to change the batteries today and we did not have any. And Miss Kathy, no guts, no glory. I got the alkaline. So I got to restock pile my little jar full of the double A's. I had several triple A's still over there, but no double A's. So, yeah, I'll be hauling those every time I go to the Dollar Tree for the next little bit. I got some bubble wrap because I have a couple of friend mails I need to send out. I got my dogs some treats. Now, they got more treats than these, but this is what they have not gobbled up so far. Both are made in the USA. This is Alpo T-Bones. Burger shaped dog treats, beef and cheese flavors. They love these. And then this one is the canine carryouts made in the USA. And it's a chew bone, long lasting chews, beef flavor. Scotty does not like these as well, but Kingston loves these. Loves, loves, loves these. And I try to keep their doggy treat bowl stockpiled so that they will have plenty of treats all the time. Now I purchased all three of these that I found that I wanted. This one says need new shoes donations accepted here and has a picture of the shoes back there. This one says vacation funds donations accepted here. And then the third one that I picked up I can't remember what it says, but I have my one I got from the Target Dollar Spot over there, the coffee funds, and I let Miss Molly start putting money in it. I had it just out as decor, but she started putting money in it, and she had so much fun putting money in it, so she wanted one. So I sent the third one um, in her stuff, and whatever it is, it's a saying that I think it's just saving for a rainy day. I think that's what it was. And so I let her take that one home and Paw Paw put some money in it for. Her. I got this canvas for a friend of mine who just had a birthday and I sent her a birthday present that I picked up at the Chicksaw Nation and it was a arrow on a beautiful wooden board. I loved it. And then I found Find Your Tribe and Love Hard. And I just thought it went really well with the Native American arrow that I had sent her. So I picked this up to go as a part of her decor when she sets it up. So she is expecting that. Just a few more things, guys. I found this giant jumbo desk clip. Now, I will probably put a picture or something in it. I don't know, but 
It is stinking cute. And they had it in yellow and orange for sure. And then this pink. And I'm not sure if there was another color. I found the reusable cups. Take it to go. And you get actually two of them. They're BPA free, dishwasher safe, and microwave safe. You get two cups. Look at this, guys. For a buck. So these are 50 cents a piece. 50 cents. And they're reusable plastic coffee cups. Let me get the two off together. There's that one. And there's that one. Look at this. It's probably, what, 10 ounces? And the lid just snaps on very well, I might add. And two of them for a dollar. It has the sippy. You can put hot or cold in here. You can put a straw in here. It has the little vent hole right here. And it says, caution, contents hot up here, just like a regular cup that you get from anywhere else. If your Starbucks cup had the little thing you put over it to keep your hands from getting hot burnt, you could save that and put it on to this. But yeah. So I got one for me and I got one for my gal Teresa because she can't find them where she's at. So excited to have found those. Excited. Just a couple more things, guys. Now, I bought this kind of just to have it to show, but I don't know. I guess no one else found it as disturbing as me. This was in the toy section, okay? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, Kind of like solo cups and four ping pong balls. It was in the toy section. And my husband, he was like, okay. And I was like, that's what they play beer pong with. And this is in the kids section. I don't know that I agree with this being in the kids section, but... I haven't seen anybody else think anything about it. Personally, I didn't think it was proper to be in the kids section. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I was thinking too much into it. I don't know. But I bought it just to show you guys, to tell you what was out there. But uh, it would be cool for the girls to play cups with the six cups. You know, the little... Anyway, so... Okay, I have this washi and I don't know where it came from. I don't think I purchased that because I believe I already have it and I'm trying not to duplicate. I'm trying to get rid of all I have that's duplicated so I'm pretty sure I didn't purchase that. Coffee doesn't make itself. Get to it. Both sides. Beautiful little mug. Love it, love it, love it. I found this decorative pen and Molly lost the little tip but and they had several colors, but I liked this red. Now they had a real pretty blue and I don't know what other colors. I think a pink. And normally I would... Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so light here. Normally I would gravitate towards the pink, but the red just really, really caught my eyes. So there's that. I gotta get in bed. It's late, late, late. Okay, I found some of the lip smackers. So I'm trying to sort it out according to... Okay. I found these three. And it is the Layer It. And so it is the Sorbet Orange and the Layer Raspberry Orange Sorbet. So, one end is like the chapstick part, and one end is more like a lip gloss part. So, one end is chapstick, and the 
one end is a doe foot applicator lip gloss. That doesn't feel like it stays on very well, but. So this one was orange sorbet and raspberry orange sorbet. This one is cream bay and berry cream cake. And this one is vanilla and strawberry vanilla. And then I got these three. And this is vanilla bean. This one is caramel sorbet. And this one is soda pop tangerine. So I got those. That's everything here. And then the last couple of things I got were some books. Well, one, this is, it says follow your heart. And it is just like this. And I'm going to make this into a address book for my purse. So when I need someone's address and I'm out and about, I'll have it. And I love the colors, the pink and the black. And I love that it has the little band. I love the design, everything about it. I am going to make my own address book out of this and put it in my purse. I already have this. So I actually bought this for a giveaway or a friend. And it is a New York Times Winter Wonderland Crossword Puzzle 165 Easy to Hard Puzzles. And look, guys, in a spiral bound, hard covered notebook. So, I don't know. I'm not really good at, at crossword puzzles, but look at that. This is so neat. And the answers are in the back. So, this will be going out to someone. I'm just not for sure how I will do it yet. So, be watching for that in an upcoming video. Then I bought this hard, The Box Trolls, an original novel based on the new movie. And I thought, I'm going to have to look at it to make sure. But I thought this would be a good um, chapter book when, when Molly comes for like a week or something. And I'm going to read it some first to see if it's okay to read to her. But, um, yeah, I thought maybe I would do, like, a chapter book. If she was going to be here for a couple of weeks, then this is, let me see how many chapters is in it. Chapter 19. So, we, if we did two chapters a night, we would get it done in 10 days, and that's about how long she stays at a time. So, I'll just have to read a little bit of it first and see. I've never even seen the movie. And so, this one is Ace's Wild, A Companion to When Life Gives You O.J., and it says, the only thing better than a great book is an amazing follow-up. Erica Pearl brings us Aces Wild, which matches the magic of her 2011 novel, When Life Gives You O.J., the ups and downs you have, you laugh, you cry, and you try out your Yiddish. What do you do with a dog named Ace who gets kicked out of kindy, puppy kindergarten? What do you do with a grandfather also named Ace, who goes dining and dancing with not one but three girlfriends. Most importantly, what do you do if your parents say you can't have a sleepover until you get both Aces under control? Zeely Freed wishes she knew. It's not like either Ace is interesting in sitting or staying or shaping up. Now this I thought would make an excellent book to give to my little Ashy Kate. So that's for her. And then this is Elle and Blell. Elle and Blair Fowler, Where Beauty Lies, a Beneath the Glitter novel. So, and this one normally retailed for $17.99. And so, I don't know. I just thought this looked kind of cute. Elle and Blair Fowler began filming makeup and fashion tutorials for YouTube, which quickly garnered millions of views and national media attention. They live in Los Angeles where they have their own beauty and accessory lines. So in Hollywood, there's no such thing as bad press, especially when you're Sophie and Ava London. Despite their very public scandal, the London sisters are harder than ever. I've never heard of them. Anyway, 
yeah, I don't know. I might like that. So that is everything from my collective haul that I have gathered up for I don't know how long. And I have taken up a lot of you guys' time. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the little bell on your way out. We'll notify you anytime I post a new video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I know you guys love the Dollar Tree hauls. So not a lot of new, but we are going to do a couple of DIYs in the next couple of weeks. I have a very simple DIY that I got from my daughter Rusty I'm going to share with you guys. I have a collab coming up with my friend Teresa on a DIY that we're going to share sometime in September with you guys. Um, and I have a tag video that I want to do. Something that I thought of and I'm going to tag a few of my YouTube friends and see if I can get them involved with it. So be watching for that coming up as well. Also, I have a Tuesday morning haul. I don't know when I will be posting that. Don't forget my plan with me's. And you guys, just keep coming back. I'll keep rolling with some different stuff. I am going to have a vlog coming up also, so I hope you'll join me with that. Until then, grandbabies at home, I love you. Bye, everybody.